The attention of the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons has been drawn to various misleading claims concerning the efforts of the government of Nigeria to respond to the incidences of rape and other forms of violence occasioned by the COVID-19 lockdown. While NACTIP appreciates the commitment and enthusiasm from both state and non-state actors, it is important to emphasize the need for proper coordination and synergy to ensure that our joint efforts are effective. I would also like to place on record the political will demonstrated by His Excellency President Mohammed Buhari, Honorable Ministers, the National Assembly, and State Governors through their policy pronouncements and legislations. However, it should be noted that NAPTIP is the agency of government mandated to administer the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act of 2015. The agency has risen to this responsibility and made very significant achievements with regards to stemming the pandemic. NAPTIP has also actively advocated for the domestication of the act by states. To date, NAPTIP has recorded the following. Incest, 15. Threats, 12. Abduction, 7. Maltreatment, 10. Out of court settlement, 10. Damage to property, 4. Abandonment, 15. Number of convictions, 38. Reported cases, 414. Verified cases with fingerprints, 107. Registered service providers, 65. 35 convictions on various sexual and gender-based violence, namely 32 convictions for rape for 10 to 14 years imprisonment, two conditions, two, one conviction, sorry, two convictions for incest, 10 to 14 years, and we obtained one life conviction for rape in March this year. The only life conviction in the history of Nigeria was obtained in March this year by NAPTI. The Federal Government of Nigeria launched the Nigeria Sexual Offenders Register in November 2019, and NAPTIB, as a custodian of the register, has continued to collate reports of convicted persons from all over the country. The register also displays the efforts of various stakeholders and links to the Sexual Offender Register of states who have set up theirs. All the sexual, all the, 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 the dashboard of NAPTIP is connected to all the states, but so far only Edo is actively sharing information with NAPTIP. I would like to appeal to all stakeholders to support this system already in place in NAPTIP, instead of setting up parallel systems that have no legal backing and are certainly not comprehensive. Gentlemen of the press, in order to effectively tackle the menace of rape and other forms of gender violence, NAPTIP has commenced advocacy for the mainstreaming of the VAP Act as a national law that will be applicable to all states of the Federation. So we don't have to wait or convince states to domesticate uh, the VAP Act in their states, just like the Trafficking in Persons Act. The development will also remove some of the notable legal hitches and caveats that has impeded the domestication of the act by some states in the country. On our part, we shall continue to engage and enforce the necessary state instruments with a view to ensuring protection of Nigerians from sexual and gender-based violence. I thank you all for listening.